everyone. It's been a long time. I've been very, very busy and I just have, uh, haven't had a lot of time to make a lot of videos with Christmas and New Year's and holidays and people coming over and so on and so forth. Uh, but I have a little bit of time right now, so I'm just going to make this quick little video with this, uh, it's a Sansui record player. And let's see here if I can get SR2050C. All right, so the problem with this is that when you turn it on, this is what you get, no matter what the speed selector is at. So client said he thinks it's a belt, but I think it's the spindle. and then this is the belt so yeah you can see the belt is in pretty good shape has some pretty good elasticity still so i don't think it's the belt like i said i think it's so yeah i can hardly turn that so what it is when the when the platter's on it's basically it's binding against this here so yeah um what i have to do now is i have to take this off and get to the other side because there's going to be probably another nut on the other side of this holding it together. I'm gonna plug it first, just like that. Okay, so let me see. This is what we want right here. So I'm just going to flip this back around like so. Open that. I love this kickstand. Yeah, so back on with the um, the commenting. Uh, I appreciate all your comments, all your feedback, except the ones that really just I don't care for. I know it's YouTube and I know that's what I'm gonna get. That's what I signed up for when I made the channel. But at the same time, I just, I've got a very big problem with stupid criticism. Like, you know, if I say something and uh, it's not what I'm supposed to have said, like I used the wrong word or something like that, I, I really don't care to be corrected, especially multiple times by the same person. You, you, you're going to do that. You're, you're just going to get yourself banned from the channel because, you know, nobody needs that shit. Um... Also, people complaining that I, there's not enough to do and too much talk. You know what? Too bad. Don't like it. Leave. Go watch somebody else. Keep your comments to yourself if they're not nice. I know it sounds cliche, but you gotta be nice in the world. Be kind. So that's that. That came out there. So... Like, this is very stiff. So, what we're going to find in here is there should be a little single ball bearing down here. And then, basically, there's going to be all this old shitty grease in here. But I have to undo this screw. You know, I could never, I never understood before why some YouTubers, they would, when they're making a video, they would talk about, you know, people commenting on their stuff and complaining. I, I completely get that now. Okay. So, it's pretty dry. So we're just going to go in here. Uh, we will take a quick look. Let's see what's in here. Probably not much. And there's the, the ball bearing is there. I can see it at the bottom. Yeah, see right there. This is just going to be, uh, we're going to do a little bit of a cleanup job here. So I got this here. Uh, this is degreaser. It's a degreaser, commercial degreaser. That you can buy at Walmart. It's a great job cleaning up. You can buy it in a concentrated form and uh, you can mix it a whole bunch of different ways, different strengths. This is a very weak dilution, not dissolve, but dilute um, of the stuff of the cleaner. And basically, uh, it does great things. I use it to clean all my pieces. But, anyways, you can see it's got most of the grime off there. So we're just removing the old grease and oil and whatever else everybody else used on this thing. We'll give it another hose. Okay. 
let it sit for a moment and then another little cleaning so that is going to be as clean as that gets so and you can see just by cleaning it alone I can actually I know you can't see that but you can actually spin that freely just from cleaning it so that old grease and oil and gunk and crap that they used before uh, probably from when this was manufactured uh, just it just dries up and gets really really like sticky and solid and basically loses its viscosity so just clean that out nice and easy moving smoothly beautiful oops like so now the set screw just prevents the spindle from falling out so it's locked in there now it spins nice and freely beautiful go okay, we're gonna put it back in the hole right here Nice and tight and secure now. Give them a little spin again. Beautiful. Works as it should. All right, so here we go. Turntables back on. Turn her on. Starts up just like it should. Well, that concludes this video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like, and if you haven't subscribed, please click subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.